Hello guys and welcome to the WordPress plugin tutorial. Here I'm going to explain you how the, the plugin works uh, directly on your WordPress. So first of all, we need to log in on your WordPress. Then what we need to do is we need to go to the plugin store. So we go to the plugins, install plugin. We go on add new. We search and we type the monetizer. Once you enter the monetizer, you will install this one right over here. Install now. Then what we need to do is we need to activate it. Then we go to plugins, install plugins, and then we go to the monetizer on settings. You have the monetizer plugin landing page. They will ask you for your monetizer ID. It's very simple. You just need to go to your money box all the way to setup and on the WordPress tab. Here you will choose your website. If you have more than one, remember that each site has a different plugin ID. You just copy and paste it here and then we copy paste it and then we go on save. Once we've done that, you will see that you enter to the, money, uh, to the monetizer plugin. So we're here on the plugin. If you have any questions, don't mind clicking the tutorial button. It will follow you through the whole plugin. So here you will find your URL of your website, your CMP version, which is the content banner, your ATXT and the plugin version. Also, the plugin, just remember, it's like your money box. You have all the information uh, as in the money box. It's, you have your statistics, your formats, your profile information, your invoices and payments, the FAQ, the sponsorship, and the plugin settings. So now I'm going to explain to you the different types of tabs that you will find on the plugin. You have your statistics here. You have all of the statistics of your CPM that are exactly as your money box. Remember that the plugin is connected to your money box. So all the information that you will find here, you will find it also on your money box. Now we go to the formats tab and you will find all of the different formats that you have on your money box. If you already integrated or generated a script of the format, for example, the mega banner, you will find it here. The script on the right side, but if you haven't placed or generated the script, you will find it like this. Generate script. It's very easy to generate it. Just click on the button. Once you generate the script, you will find it right over here on the manual placement, which you can add it directly to your website or um, you can use this shortcut also to add this format. So now to place your format on your website, it's automatically, it's very simple. Just go to configure and you will see this pop-up come out, lazy loading configuration. Lazy loading, it's, um, it will let your format to repeat different times uh, as you like, you are the one that are going to, that is going to decide how many times do you want to see the format that will place on your website. To activate it, you just need to go to activation of the lazy loading, click on this tabs bar. Now you have different little tabs. I'm going to explain you each one of them. So display anchor. Here, it means that where do you want to see your ad unit? You can see it between the paragraph on the images, the titles, sections, or articles. Also, you have the display order. So you can choose before the anchor or after the anchor. Also, you have the display frequency. This means that how many times do you want to see the format? For example, if you choose a paragraph, this means that 
after one paragraph, you will see a format. So what we I think it will be good. It's between three and four paragraphs. Like that, there's not a lot of, of intrusion of publicity. And the uh, lecture will be happy. You have the starting order, the display height, and the width display. Those ones, we do not touch them, because uh, then they will change the height and the, and the width of the of the format and it will not be good. Here on the alignment, you can choose on the left, the center, or on the right from the anchor display that you choose. For example, the paragraph. And very important, you need to save it. If you don't save it, it won't get saved and you will not see the format on your website. If you want to see if it works, you just need to go to your website Right over here, you can see that the format is well placed. Also, the format will be recharged every 30 seconds thanks to our smart refresh. So, if you want to turn off the lazy loading of your format that you just um, activated, it's very simple. You just need to go to configure button, click on the status and then save it. Very, very important. So here you will see that the status is on pause. Also, very important, this format only worked for article pages. You cannot add automatically an app unit on the right on your website or all the way at the bottom. This one only works with articles uh, pages. So here we go to the My Profile tab. Here you can see all your personal information. You can also modify it here directly or on your money box. Now you have your Invoices and Payments tab. Here you can see all of your bank account information. You can modify it here directly or also in your money box. But very important, you cannot modify your bank account information from the 5th all the way to the 10th of the month. Very important to keep that in mind. Also, if you have invoices on your money box, you will see them right at the bottom over here. Okay, so we have the question and answer tab. Here you can find all of the FAQ uh, questions that we have on our website, demonetizer.com. The sponsorship, if you want to register one of your buddies, one of your friends that wants to join the monetizer, don't hesitate to give, you, uh, to give him the sponsorship code. OK, so now, for the ATXT file and the CMP, you just need to go to the last tab, which is Plugin Settings. Here you will see the ATXT and the concept banner, also known as CMP. It's very, very simple to add it on your website. You just need to click on the automatic placement of the ATXT. You'll see a pop-up coming up. And then on the constant banner, you will click here, automatic placement of the CMP. Very, very important. The ATXT file will only work if you have Apache server. If you have also a plugin that will delete all your cache, don't hesitate to delete it because it will help you uh, to see right away the changes on your website. Now, last but not least, if you have any trouble using our plugin and you want to reset it, it's very simple. You just need to go to the last tab, plugin settings, all the way at the bottom, you will see here a red button resetting the plugin. You just need to click and then click on yes, and you will reset the plugin and then you can use it as you like. So that's it for the Monetizer plugin tutorial. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to see the question and answer at FAQ. And also, do not hesitate to contact us at contact at Thank you. Have a nice day.